Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Guru. Thank you for watching. So I am in my Joel 3D Printing Nerd t-shirt that I received for Christmas. And I will be channeling Joel Telling this evening. Uh, so this is a little bit of a special video for me. This is the 100th video that I have created. Now the first couple in my mind didn't really count so much because they were just things I posted because uh, you know my son and I were working on these things and I just wanted to post something. So, And then I got into 3D printing. I actually started with a CNC machine and I uh, didn't really make any videos about that. And then uh, got into 3D printing. I started following Joel. Yeah, it was the pretty much the first channel I started following around 3D printing and I thought, you know, hey, maybe I'll start making some videos. You know, so after watching this video, I forgot to mention one thing. So I, I do have to give a huge shout out to the 3D printing nerd. And here's why. Uh, I sent him a package. I got a sticker. I, I love the sticker. It's amazing. But he was my 200th subscriber. And uh, there's nothing I can say more than someone who gives back to the community. And Joel does that. He gives back. He gives shout out to me. He gave a shout out to me. He gives shout out to many other people. So, you know, he says, you know, love each other more. He's spot on, right? So that's amazing. So, Joel, thank you for being my 200 subscriber. I mean, 200 is nothing. And when you have 127 site, you know, thousand subscribers, whatever you have now. But hey, thanks. That's amazing. And, and, Let's go into 2018 together. Thanks, brother. And then, you know, got a couple followers and you know, some more followers. And we're up to, I think, about 350 followers. That's not too bad, right, for a, about a year of doing this. So I just wanted to do my first uh, vlog and talk about what it was like, you know, kind of making this channel and, you know, just kind of go from there. So I, I'll apologize in advance because this will probably ramble a little bit. But I want to cover a couple points. So I've had a couple videos this year that have done fairly well in terms of viewership. One in particular went what I would characterize as more or less viral. Um, got 27, 28,000 views, which is uh, compared to all the rest of my videos, which average around uh, somewhere between uh, 50 and 150. So a lot more than, than the, the, the normal uh, videos. So... I just want to run through some kind of feedback I've received over the last year and, uh, and kind of talk about that a little bit. So I, I got this little uh, uh, notepad here. So the first thing was I got a lot of comments on a couple of my videos about uh, just uh, mumbling and not, you know, pronouncing words and saying um a lot. And so I, I went back and I watched a couple of the videos and I was kind of shocked by how often I, I do say um or and or i'm thinking about something and then i started thinking about why i do that and a lot of the videos where i do kind of kind of mumble through things or don't uh, speak clearly or whatever i'm i'm doing a tutorial usually in fusion or inkscape or something like this where i'm i'm in my mind i'm thinking you know what i'm doing and i'm just verbalizing it and i'm not really enunciating i'm not intending to make an instructional video even though I set out to record myself to make said instructional video. So that's something I want to work on in 2018. Uh, the other thing that kind of came up in a lot of videos, just the quality of the productions. Um, I have upgraded my webcam actually a large number of months ago. I've increased the resolution. I've changed some settings in a way that I record the video so that it'll have a slightly better resolution. I did get a um, kind of a cheapy knockoff um, there we go. A GoPro knockoff uh, to do 4K videos. Uh, we'll, we'll try it out. Uh, I have I bought a new X Carve. You can see. Um, okay, so back. A uh, little technical difficulty. I don't know what's going on there. The video just literally stopped recording. So I, I was about to say that I, I purchased a new X Carve. Uh, you can see here this space in the back here. I've cleared out a bunch of space. There used to be a bookcase back there. And I, that's where I intend to do uh, the, where I'm going to put the X car. But I, I intend to use a new uh, GoPro knockoff, record some video, hopefully in 4K, maybe time lapse, maybe not time lapse. We'll see how it works out. 
and just uh, you know, kind of kick the tires and say, hey, is this a camera I might want to record with? I do know that the GoPros, generally speaking, have a kind of a wide angle lens, so they generally, for something like this, they wouldn't be appropriate. Uh, but I'm gonna kick the tires a little bit and just see what's happening. I don't, uh, look, this, uh, this channel is a side project for me. Uh, I don't know that I have a whole lot of uh, content that I'm going to be uploading in 2018. I'm really going to be focused on projects and really talking about some of the project videos. So um, I, I can't really justify making an investment in a eight or nine or a thousand dollar video camera to do kind of high quality video production. Um, so that's just kind of one thing there. Uh, I'll waffle on that a little bit. I really do want to increase the quality of some of the things I do on the channel here and really tap into some of the the things that I think that uh, people want to see. Um, and so with that, I'll kind of lean into the next topic I want to talk about. Uh, I've been kind of looking at the the metrics or the usage or viewership of some of the videos. And the videos that I enjoy the most making um, are, interestingly enough, the videos that are essentially the least watched. And, and that is interesting to me and a little problematic because uh, I like making instructional videos showing people how to do things um, and what I'm thinking is people only find the videos if they're looking for the problem that they're having and for my subscribers thank you for subscribing by the way uh, the, 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 you may not watch them unless you have an interest in whatever it is that I'm trying to uh, address in terms of a problem set. So uh, I'm interested. I, w I want uh, folks to leave comments down below on what type of content you might want to see in 2018. Is it more about just printing things? Uh, I use Fusion a lot. Is it more about instructional things about Fusion, which I don't, you know, based on the, the viewership in, in 17, um, I'm not sure that that's what it, that's really what people are focusing in on. Um, I do intend in 2018 to make a little bit more, get a little more back into electronics. So maybe now that uh, actually AutoCAD has purchased um, Eagle CAD, which is the CAD program I used to use for printed circuit boards, or I still use for printed circuit boards, maybe there might be a more integration between the, the Eagle and the Fusion. We'll see. Uh, they're already trying to uh, they're already have integrated the two products so maybe maybe i'll do some more videos about that but i have a couple projects lined up that i want to work on so the last thing i just want to mention there is uh there were some a, a handful of comments about maybe you know the um and the mumbling and whatnot if i were to create a script uh so i i know some of the folks that i follow on youtube have a script and they use it very successfully uh this look this room, uh, you look around, it's just a square room. Uh, I'm on my computer, it's in the corner. Um, there's no place for a teleprompter. There, The lighting is about as best as I can possibly do. I futzed around. I don't know if you've noticed, between uh, the beginning of the year and the middle of the year and the end of the year, I've now moved my computer again. It is uh, back into the corner. Um, you can still see the door and the, the posters from my uh, college days, which I, I love, by the way. But um, I'm back in the corner here, so having a teleprompter and having lighting in front of me is just physically impossible. There's about um, about 12 inches between the, the back of the camera here and the monitor and, and, and the wall. So I'm doing the best I can with the lighting, but uh, in, you know, reading from a script isn't me. It's not how I roll. It's not how I do things um, through work. I do a, a fair amount of public speaking and... You know, actually, I've had the opportunity to be on TV twice this year, um, and the I, I watched the production of how they do television, and and the teleprompter was fascinating and interesting, and and just f through this channel, I was super interested in the kind of mechanics of how they make video, but uh, it's not how I roll with these videos. So look, if you want more scripted content, let me know down below. Like, if that's going to attract more viewers, okay. Um, if not, then Okay, uh, the last thing I just want to mention is uh, monetizing the channel. Uh, I don't really have any intention of monetizing this channel. Uh, when I originally started out, I you know I enabled ads just to see if I can get any sort of you know ad money or whatever. I think I made 16 cents in the first six months of this channel. Uh, or something like this. Uh, unfortunately, I did not monetize the one video that went um, what I'll characterize as viral with you know. 20 some thousand views 
my bad. I might have made a few bucks off of it or whatever. But I, I have no intention of monetizing the channel. That's not why I'm doing this, right? So, uh, you know, if I get 100,000 viewers, God help me, because I don't know that I can keep up with that number of viewers in the comments and whatnot. But th the point being is that um, I'm doing this because I want to do it. And uh, the more subscribers I get, if you're watching this video and you like it, please subscribe because, you know, they say it helps. I guess if I were to monetize it, it would help more. I don't know, but it's always good to, you know, hit a thousand or 500 or, or for me, you know, 500 and a thousand and keep going and going and going. There are people who do this for a living. I don't do this for a living. I have a job. I, I love my job. Um, I'm going to stick with that job for quite some time. Maybe when I retire in, I don't know, 15, 20 years, <laughs> who knows if YouTube will be around or not. Um, but uh, that, that's something I might do. But for right now, um, I'm no intentions of doing any sort of monetization. Uh, I will do reviews of things based off the things that I purchased. So far, everything that I, all the reviews I've done are things that I've purchased with my own money. Uh, I haven't, uh, or maybe in the one case, I, I won a, a roll of spil a filament. So that's that's cool. <laughs> I haven't won any of the gleam things I've entered recently, but anyway. And then the last thing I just want to leave you with here is um, in 2018, I probably am going to do a lot more uh, CNC woodworking projects. Um, this channel was never intended to be exclusively about 3D printing. It was really intended to be about me as a maker and, and me as a person in terms of the, the projects that I'm working on. You can see from the content I've done, a lot of the content, uh, uh, I haven't gone back and counted, but a lot of the content, maybe 50% of it is, is fusion for CNC, um, not fusion for 3D printing. So uh, I got a planer, uh, or let me be clear, I purchased myself a planer for my birthday. <laughs> um, and so that means that I, I can now do a little bit more different types of woodworking. So getting into cutting boards and, and multi, um, multi-material sort of cutting boards and whatnot. And I'll probably, the goal here is in early 18, I want to do a multi-material cutting board with an inlay. Because uh, I just, uh, it's something that I've been kind of thinking about since I've got my original Shape Oco 2 and then, and then upgraded to the X-Carve and then the new X-Carve, which is going to be big. It's going to be amazing, um, 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters, so much bigger cutter boards. And then I can also do some um, the headstones that I want to do for Halloween and some other things. Okay, so it turns out if you hit the space bar on the keyboard, it stops recording the video. Hmm. A year's worth of making video, and I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> but uh, so as I was saying, X-Carve, big X-Carve. It's going to be amazing, lots of cool things, and um, likely the first video I'll do in 2018 is probably some sort of, I don't think I'm going to do a live stream because that's uh, just, uh, I, you know, whatever, it's not, not something I do, but uh, probably do some sort of uh, montage, time lapse of building the X-Carve. Um, the family's in town and the father-in-law is probably going to want to help, and um, God love him, but he's... Uh, you just got to work the process when he's around. So I, I, he helped with uh, making the board there. And let me do this. Uh, that guy there, which is going to be the the, the shelf on the bottom there. I'm going to put my uh, humidifier there. And what do they call it? A, a dehydrator for my filament and whatnot. And then I got my printers on the side over here. And then a soldering station over there. And then the rest of the desk here where the current uh, uh, X-Carve is slash shape Oco here and we're going to kind of clear that out for other miscellaneous projects so look forward to 2018 um i do apologize a little bit because this video is probably a little bit long it's a little bit rambly i did make some notes on a pad here about things i want to talk about i covered all of it so uh please it, it, you know if you like any of these videos at all in the entire repertoire please subscribe uh, leave your comments down below. I do try to reply to pretty much every comment I get. Uh, when I get suggestions or, or questions, I try to research it and get back to the people. Uh, it's just something that I want to do. Uh, again, this is not my full-time job. It's not even a part-time job. This is what I do on the side when I'm not hanging with the family or doing work or whatever. This is just something I enjoy. And I'm going to do it as long as I enjoy it. Um, I am interested in new projects. If you want to have something specific, 
uh, I'm interested in that. Uh, I, I got to tell you, I feel like uh, I've gotten a little like repetitive. I keep doing the same things over and over again because they're just projects that I like to do. And but making videos about them kind of probably a little boring. So uh, if there's something new, I'm, I'm interested in it. Uh, I, it's unlikely that I'll do reviews of printers or um, I'll probably do a review of the X Carve, especially the new du uh, dust collection system because I've suffered through the old X Carve and. Um, upgraded, let's see, Shape Oko 2 to new Z axis, new um, uh, upgraded the, the spindle, that was a major improvement, and then upgraded the Z axis again, and then upgraded the new motors and new electronics, and yada yada yada. So I, I've been through that. So I'll probably review the X Carve in a couple different segments, focusing on a couple different areas because I'm super excited. Um, they shipped it in piece parts, I've got boxes out the door, out the you know what? Um, and the last thing is the dust collection system, which uh, I am, I, I cannot, uh, I, I'm like a kid in the candy store. I, I just, I'm so excited by the new dust collection system. Just want to tell you, so I'm, I'm gearing up for it. So um, I, I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like the video, you know what? Give it a thumbs up anyway. Um, my video about the CR10 and just comparing to prints was just a random video I made one like Thursday afternoon. It's the one that got the 27,000 views. It's like 50-50 in likes and dislikes. No one who disliked it ever said why they disliked it. And no one who liked it said why they did or didn't like it. So I, I'm really left wanting on that video. I got a, some feedback basically saying that I suck and I mumble too much and, and, and whatever. I stumble over my words, you know. Yeah, I got it. Like, check. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. So, you know, it's almost 2018. Got a cocktail here. Um, martini parties behind us. 2017's behind us. Got a big promotion at work this year. It's amazing. So, you know, I'm going to finish it out with saying, hey, uh, I'm going to steal from Joel. Hug each other more, right? Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I don't, I cut myself making dinner last night, but. I don't really high five, but I joked. Uh, I, I I printed the Joel bot and broke the Joel bot while I was rearranging the office and formed the Joel bot back into a new uh, Joel bot. Uh, and so he's off to the side. I'm gonna create a shelf um, right there and 18 show off my 3D prints. So please uh, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry for the rambling. Uh, if I don't uh, see y'all or hear from y'all, happy New Year, Merry Christmas.